Hi, so today I'll be reviewing the latest Nokia 125. It was um, announced in May 2020 and released this month, August. It was, ex it was expected July, but it's released this month instead in countries like India, Russia, Poland, etc. I don't think it'll be available in the UK for a couple of months at least. Anyway, this is it. Okay, let's go straight to the box. Came just like this. Okay, it's available in white, black and blue, this blue, which is just here. I tried to order it in white because I really do like white, but they didn't have it in stock at the moment. Okay, this phone is extremely cheap. It's a really basic phone. It's one of the cheapest, in fact, it's one of the cheapest phones I've ever reviewed. And that even goes for the Nokia 100, which I reviewed first years ago. Okay, 2.4 inch display up to 19.4 hours talk time, 23.4 days standby time. Wireless FM radio, and it doesn't come with a headset like usual, and a torch. Okay, this has got built-in memory. Um, you can't add any memory. This isn't, there's no facility for an SD uh, card, micro SD card, no facility for that. Okay, Storage for up to 2,000 contacts and up to 500 SMS micro, micro USB connector and snake game. That's it. So like I said, it's basic. The only good thing about it, it's got a wireless radio. And um, I don't really see much that's that good about it. Just a wireless radio and also um, the phone feels good. I like the feeling of it. Buttons are nice. Have a look at the buttons properly. And the phone feels good. It's like a matte finish. It doesn't leave any marks on it or anything, which is good. Okay, what was in the box? Same thing as usual, the phone, which was here. The battery, which is just under that. And then you've got the charger, no headset, and that's it in the manuals. Wait a minute, I didn't see this. What's this? Yeah, that's the part of the charger, and that's it. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Okay, let's get to the phone. So you open the back up just by pulling this there, like usual. pull out the battery. Like I said, there's no facility for a micro SD card. It's built in memory. There's, this is dual SIM. So it's dual um, SIM one and SIM two and they're standard size SIMs. Slot it in, that's it. And push, put the battery back in. The cover back. Push it in. And there you go. Then press and hold this button to start it up. Okay, so you've got the torch. There's no camera on this phone, by the way. You've got a torch. You've got the sync cable facility for charging and for I was going to say transferring, but um, I tried to transfer a picture to this phone, but it's not. there's no option for that. So it's just built in. Whatever you got in there, you can't transfer things onto this phone, which makes it more worse than it already is. Okay, this is for the headset, for the radio. But like I said, you don't need it, but it's better with the headset. It's more clearer sound. The wireless, even though the wireless is quite good. Remember, it's only got one speaker up there. So it's not as good as the 5310, which has got two speakers, one on the top and one on the bottom. Okay. Also, let's just show you the loudspeaker output. Just ring number. With my EE, you can get help with your device and manage your account online. You can hang up and text support to 150 and we'll send you everything you need to get started. Your current balance is zero. Okay. To top up, press one. The packs. Info on Freeboost, or to get extra data minutes and text to use in the UK 
or abroad, press 2. To report your phone as lost or stolen, or potential support, press 3. And for sales and upgrades, pack codes, or home and mobile broadband, press 4. So it's okay the loudspeaker has got a lot of cracking when it's really loud, that's about it. Okay. So that was the loudspeaker. Okay, let's get straight into the menu of the phone. Okay. Okay. In total it's got one, two, three, four, twelve. 13 icons in total. Okay, call log, missed calls, received calls, dialed numbers, delete recent call lists, call duration, that's it. Contacts, whatever your contacts, names, search a contact, add contact, delete contact, copy, move, settings, let's check the settings, voice, mailbox number, Contacts view, name and number, memory status, speed dials. Okay. No screening, service numbers, alarm clock. Let's see how many alarms this has got. Uh, you got Alarm one, alarm two, three, four, five, five alarms. Radio. Um, I can't go onto a radio station due to copyright reasons, so I think you can get the gist of it. If you press that, it searches for all the available channels. Get out of that. And there it is. You can go up and down, volume. Like I said, that's the only speaker up there. It's not as loud as the 5310 Nokia 50 because that's like I said, it's got two speakers up and down. It's okay. It's mediocre, it's okay. It's okay for what you're paying for. Okay, stop. Let's get out of there. Okay, radio, messages, create message, inbox, sent items, inbox, okay, drafts, distribution lists, screen messages, delete messages, message counter, Message settings, let's see what sort of settings there are. Info service, sending profile, delivery reports, reply via same center, character support, no screening. Okay. Service com editor. Okay, okay snake game. I think this and there's another game, but we'll just check it out in a minute. This is like one of the cheapest snake games I've seen. Anyway, let's get out of there. Okay, calendar. It's your basic calendar. Flashlight on. On now. Or um, click to go off. Or you can do it this way, where you just press the uh, top button twice, one, two, comes on, and press it again, the top one goes off. That's it. 
calculator, just a basic calculator. Nine times nine times nine equals seven hundred twenty-nine. Yeah. Okay. Settings, dual SIM settings, SIM name. But if you put the um, both the SIMs in, then you'll ask for both SIM SIM name of both options for both. SIM 1, yeah, the SIM 2 would have showed up as well if the other SIM was there. Okay. Tone settings, ringing tone, knock it. I don't know how many uh, tones this has got, but I didn't think it'd have much. Let's just hear them. That's all. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Okay, ringing volume. Put it on the highest. Vibrating alert on or off. Message alert tone standard or off or beep once or use the ringing tone. Beep once is. Keypad tones. Display settings. Wallpaper, what? This is ridiculous. They've only got option for one paper, which doesn't make no sense because, um, like I said, I tried to transfer pictures onto here and I couldn't. There's no file to take it. So that's kind of pathetic that they've only got an option for one. They could have at least put about five or six posters at least, but anyway. Um, cell info display, on or off. Backlight, however bright you want it. Standby screen on or off, or timeout one hour. Not notifications on or off. That's it for display settings. Profiles general, silent, discreet, loud, my style. Time settings, clock, set the time, whatever. Okay, date setting, it's the 26th today of August 2020. Display of time and date, you can show clock or hide clock. Auto update of time and date, of date and time, sorry. On or off will confirm first, and that's it for that. Time settings, call settings, call divert, automatic redial, call waiting service, send my caller identity, uh, no screening, fixed dialing, that's it. Phone settings, language, English, uh, I don't know what that is, Romanian. What the? I wouldn't know any of these languages. Okay, key card settings. Automatic key card on or off. Key card code. Off. Network selection. Startup tone. On or off. Welcome note. Confirm SIM service actions. No or yes. 
that's for phone settings, security settings, pin code request, call barring service, closed user group, phone security, change access codes, go to settings, that's in the button here in the beginning, you can just go to whatever, you can organize what you want to go to, like radio or whatever, organize it yourself, select options, you can have whatever you want on the list. So if I click on, like these are already selected, and that's it. So it just makes it easier if by pressing go to and it goes to whatever you want it to go to. Okay, then you can organize it. Restore factory settings. I think you just press once and it just automatically restores. Um, a few a few phones back, they never used to do this. You used to press select, then they used to ask you to put a code, then it would restore, not just straight away like this. Okay, let's see that. And that's it. Okay, let's see what game this is. You've got one, two, three games, and that's it. Uh, I don't know if they're buyable games or if they're free or what's up. Oh, yeah. Buy two Great Britain. Two pound, I think. Or play three free trials. Let's have a go at this. Oh, no, I don't want to buy it. Let's play this. Okay, shit's starting to get faster. That was quite good actually for a first attempt. <laughs> okay, so you got that's quite a good game. I don't know if it's worthy of buying it now, good, but it's good. Okay, football trophy. Three free trials or buy the game for £2. So what is this? You're a referee or something? I mean, not a ref, you're a goalkeeper. Okay, I'm going to stop. This is one boring ass game. Uh, the racing game was better than that. Okay, let's, let's go. The last game, Cosmic Escape. Buy two pound or free trials. Three free trials. Okay, let's play that. Oh, 
Oh, you got to avoid them. Let's play it again. All three games are sort of similar, avoiding something. And then he just gets faster and faster. Similar games, all three of them. Oh crap. Okay. They're not bad games, but they're exactly the similar sort of game. Okay, there it is. So that's everything. It's a really basic phone. The games are okay if you want to buy it. I like the racing game better than the other two, even though they're similar, but it makes more sense because you drive and you avoid vehicles and other cars. Unlike these two things, it make no logical sense whatsoever. Okay. And that's it. So, and I've already spoken to a couple of friends with this phone. Um, the call quality is very good. Not great, it's very good. It's nice and loud to the ear. But when you put it on loudspeaker, as you heard, very cracking. But it is loud, but it ain't too loud. The tones, the ringing tones are not as loud as Nokia used to be years ago. You know, if you go back to my first review of the Nokia 100, that was loud. <coughs> and all of the phones after that were loud. <coughs> it's only this well, past few phones the output's been very bad for Nokia. Um, so yeah, that's it. So the main features of this phone, you've got the games, um, you've got the wireless FM radio, and let's see here. Um, you've got the 2.4 inch display, which is like normal. You've got the long battery life. You've got the wireless radio, like I said, then you've got the torch, that's it. And then you've got storage of up to 2000 contacts and 500 SMS. And that's it. There's nothing much to say about this phone. That's just basic, really cheap, basic phone. Okay, so there it is. That's the Nokia 125 2020 review. I give it um, a 7 out of 10, just because it's basic. There's nothing much to it. And the price, I paid about £30 for it, but I wouldn't pay more than £25 for this phone. So yeah, that's it. I give it a 7 out of 10, and um, that's it for the phone. Like, and it does feel nice. I don't want to don't lie, it feels better than the last two did. The last two I just reviewed. I feel like these buttons are better. And you've got more control. As you saw me playing the games, you saw how quick my reaction, and there, there wasn't no lagging or anything. It went straight to it, which is good. So yeah, um, there it is. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks.